Um, um. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have actually just got back from college, let me. So yeah, I've just got back from college and I thought since I don't have my Mac for a month i may as well just film as much as i can as i normally would and then when i get it back i can just upload a ton of videos so that's the plan anyway today it's been so warm it's like 20 degrees um which is kind of crazy hence why i'm in short sleeves um but yeah i'm just super excited oh god my radiator is flipping hot that's why it's so hot in here um i'm just excited today i go to the steakhouse for dinner i feel like i look really pale um it's my nan's birthday which is actually like a month ago but we never got to do anything for it um but i don't think i'll vlog that um but yeah it's just gonna be a really chill vlog one of those that i usually do i want to take my makeup off because i need to redo it soon so i'm gonna go do that and then yeah so i've had a hollister order um and i just thought like as i try it on i will show you see if i am going to keep everything although it is really expensive to return stuff so i will probably just end up keeping everything anyway um i did only order i was going to only order a bralette but then they had discounts and sales and i was just like eh. so i ordered more and this is the result <laughs> So this is the first thing. The lighting is so bad, I know. So this is just one of the like halter neck bralette things from Hollister. I wanted a white one to wear with this top for Shawn Mendes. Um, so I'm just gonna try it on and show you, see if I like it together. Cute. I think this will be my exact outfit. Yeah, that wasn't my outfit at all. Okay, so this is the next thing. Um, this is gonna be just more of like a pajama top. With Hollister, I've been really, I was really unsure on the sizes to order because I've only ever really brought bralettes and hoodies. So for the actual clothes, I was like, eh, I don't really know what size to order. So for this one, um, I just got an extra small, which I'm really glad because these bits are really like loose, but I feel like it's just a really cute pajama top. I don't know how you can see. It's just this like, I don't really know. It's got this little bit here. It's actually Gilly Hicks, Jilly Hicks, don't know how you say it. But it's really cute. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wouldn't wear a bra with this probably because it would be pajamas, but it just depends how see-through it is. But um, I got these shorts. They are actually high-waisted shorts. Um, I'm really pleased because they tie around my waist. Um, and they're just pink. They've got a little stripe. They're a really quite nice material. So I'm really pleased with them. Um, and I think these were an extra small as well. They were an extra small, so for this one, I just went by my waist because they were high-waisted, so I was like, um, hopefully that will be okay. Okay, so this is bigger than I was expecting, but with these shorts, it's so cute. It's just really baggy. Um, this is a woman's extra small, um, but I'm pretty sure it's an oversized, so it just says Los Angeles on the boob, and it's just this, like, pink material. Um, it's really soft, but I feel like I could get away with this in the summer. I feel like in the summer, this will just be really cute. I like. I feel like it's not really showing the actual colour because the lighting. It's this kind of colour. Really cute. I like that a lot. So for this one, I again, I ordered it and then I was really regretting the size I ordered. Um, I was kind of, because basically this is a men's extra, extra large. I just want it to be really big. Um, but actually, I'm quite happy with the length of it. Um, it's just this grey material. Sorry, my bra's kind of like sticking out there. Um, it's just grey. The sleeves are like a good length. And it's just for pyjamas. So like, I don't know how well you can see. It looks really long on here. It's actually not that long. Because I'm quite tall. So like it... It's just a good length. Um, so for pyjamas in the summer, I feel like it would just be really good. Like it just comes to a good length. So that is all of the clothes I got. It's not loads, but it still came to a lot. It would have been like £70, but because of all my discounts, I got everything for 40 something. So that is pretty decent. Quite pleased with that. So yes. So I'm already now, I've actually had an outfit change to what I originally wore, um, but that's fine. So this is my makeup, I just went for like, kind of ready gold, because I was originally wearing a white top. So, yeah, I've gone with green, um, 
It's fine though. Um, I'm hoping this matches. I don't really know. But I'm wearing... I'm wearing this top, which is like kind of peplum. It's not really twisted right at the moment. It's just got like a little tie on the side. Um, and it's just super cute. And then I've just got my Ted Baker necklace on. Got my hair straightened as it wants to go today. Black high waist jeans and these red heels. Ignore my messy room again. Um, but yeah, I just went out with Gracie in the garden. Took some photos because I'm obviously, I'm doing photography. And um, I like wanted to get some portraits and some fashion-y stuff. So I've done some of that because I have left two pages in my book for that. So I'm ready to start editing them when I get back to college on Monday, maybe. I don't know because <laughs> I have no Mac. I will update you all on that later in this vlog. But yeah, we're about to go out in a minute. So I will get back to you soon. Don't know when, but it'll be in a couple seconds for you guys. But I don't know when it'll be for me. So I am home now, it's much later, it's almost 11 o'clock, um, I've just kind of been sitting here meaning to take my makeup off and get changed, but I've just finally got changed, I've got on my new Hollister t-shirt thing, um, but I plan on having a productive day tomorrow, I want to have a lie-in, but I'm not really doing anything, so I want to just get a lot done, because Sunday I'm not really going to be able to, it's Mother's Day Sunday, um, and I've got like training at work, so I'm not going to be home much. So yeah, I'm going to just try and get loads done. And as I don't have my Mac, it's kind of difficult. Oh, shivers. Um, but I have got all the photos I took of Gracie. I don't know whether I'll edit them this weekend or whether I'll do that on Monday. But I didn't bring my sketchbook home and I'm now really regretting it. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Um, it's quarter past ten. I've kind of been awake, but then not awake, like... You know when you wake up and you know you're awake, but then you're like, no, I'm sleeping still, so you turn over to go back to sleep. It's kind of been that all morning. Um, but as I said, I, I still want to have quite a productive day. I just, I feel like there's something going on today, but I know there isn't. Like, do you ever get that feeling? Like, I just feel like I can't do anything today because I'm doing something, but I know I'm not, and I've just got that feeling in my head, and I'm like, grr. But um, I'm going to go downstairs, get a cup of tea, and like, Maybe some food, I don't know. I'm never really that hungry weekends on the morning, I don't know why. So I've got kind of breakfast. <laughs> About to watch Love Evie's latest video. Very excited. Okay, so I just thought before I get started on my day, I've written my to-do list by the way. Um, I thought I would give an update about my Mac because some of you won't follow me on social media and are probably wondering where my videos have been. Um, so basically, I got home from college, I think it was a week ago now, a week and a day. Um, yeah, I came home from college on Friday to find that my bottle had leaked inside my bag. So, I, like, I just had my bag on my shoulder, and I went down to grab some leggings off the floor, and I felt water, and I was like, hmm, why are they wet? And then I realised it was coming from my bag, and I opened it, and it was, like, a pool of water in my bag. And immediately I saw my Mac... Immediately I saw my Mac and I got it out and I like, I didn't turn it off straight away, which is probably stupid, but I dried it off and I was like, oh, I'm sure that'll be fine because I've like dropped it in water or spilt water on it a hundred times. So I just dried it off and then I turned it off and then I like picked it up and water like poured out of the screen and I was like, ooh, and like all of the little side bits, like where you put in the USB, it was like dripping water and I was like... Okay, so that's not good. Tipped it upside down on a towel just so like all the water would come out because I wasn't sure whether I should put it in rice, 
But my dad was away that weekend, so I was like, typical. So I messaged him, I was like, what should I do? He was like, put it in rice. So I put it in rice. And then the next day, got it out of the rice, it turned on and it was working fine. And I was like, yes, life is saved. But I was doing loads of research and it was like, it's gonna die in a few weeks, it's gonna corrode, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, let's get everything off my Mac. So I'm pretty sure I got most things off and put it onto a hard drive, um, which, you know, is good. But <laughs> then um, it was fine, it was working. And then the next day I was watching Glee and then all of a sudden the volume went off and I was like, like sometimes I accidentally turn the volume off, like I'll press the space bar and then for some reason it turns off the volume and I'm like, hmm. So I was like, maybe I've just done that. So I tried doing changing the volume. I was like, okay, no. And then the screen just went off and I was like, <laughs> so then I turned it back on and it turned on, but then there was water damage all on the screen. I don't know how it changed like immediately, but it did. And so like the whole, say so this is the corner of the Mac. It was like, Broom loads of random water damage and you could see it and I was like oh gosh so I turned it on and like I went in to show my sister I was like look how dead it is and then it turned off as I was showing her I was like great and then I tried to turn it on again and it just kept like turning it on like you know the noise it makes it goes <laughs> it made that noise and it kept doing that on repeat and I was like oh my gosh and then it just stopped um and that's the last we've heard of it so that's great it is insured um so hopefully it can get repaired but we do still have to pay money towards it and we had to take it to uh apple something i don't know it had to be an apple place that we took it to to see how much it'd be to re be refurbished i guess that's something to do with insurance i don't know um and you have to pay 90 pounds just for them to look at it and tell you what's wrong with it how ridiculous so we've taken it there but we don't know how much damage there is yet we'll find that out in a few days so i will give more updates but that's how it's going and I don't have anything like it's typical though because my course I'm doing is photography my final piece is due soon and I've got half term and I would like in half term I would usually like edit a lot of photos print stuff off but I can't do that but I'm hoping my mum said I can use her laptop every now and again so maybe if I can download photoshop on there I will be able to do some of my work because I do have stuff to do It actually looks so hot today, but I'm not even planning on stepping out of the house, so that's good. this box which actually I used to be mine um, but it's just been sitting in the back of one of our spare cupboards with nothing in so I've just grabbed it so basically I want to keep all my blankets in here because I have so many but I never use them because they're under my bed and they're quite hard to get to so obviously I've got the one that's just on my bed but that's just a bed one but it's not really like cozy to snuggle up in so I want to get all my blankets out so I can actually use them to the point where I just don't really know what to do like, next like I should probably clean my dressing table but I just don't want to. It's now Sunday so I need to wrap up my mum's present. I don't know whether I've told you what I made. It's like I had to buy basically I bought some photos. God the lighting's bright. I've got some photos. I've got some photos for my mum and then I also bought a like sketchbook scrapbook thing it's so bright in here oh my gosh see i don't really like this wrapping paper like i literally hate it it's like happy birthday or this but this doesn't actually like stick very well i don't know to use that i guess i can use some twine sam oh baby so i've gotten too hot I feel like, ooh, use some of this. 
And then this is some twine. Come say hello, my baby. It's hot. I love you. You smell like the outside, you know. You do. You get down. You get down and say hello. Come on then. Try to help that. Okay, cool beans. I don't know why I'm bringing this up now, but at least my mum won't see it. I need to make her a card. Basically, ever since we were young, we've just always made cards. And I personally much prefer making cards than buying cards because I know it's more personal. And my mum appreciates that kind of thing, so. <coughs> yeah. I did the best Christmas cards. Gracie's was the best one, though. You followed me. Come here, my bed's all made. I know, shocker. Come here. Um, but yeah. I forgot what I was saying now. You're gonna get. Oh, I hate it when she does that. I always feel like she's gonna fall. And there's my bubba boy. Right, I know this is me literally just talking all the time, but. I really wanted to just like get dressed, put on my mum jeans and a cute top, but if I'm cleaning my room, I can't wear my mum jeans. And I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I thought mum jeans were meant to be like super easy to move in, because you know, if you're a mum, you're moving around, you're doing all that stuff, but mine is like, I just can't, like if I'm trying to put my shoes on, I physically can't breathe for a few seconds whilst I put my shoes on because it fully stops my breath. And like, it's not like they're even too tight because they are too big around my waist. So I don't know whether that's just the material mum jeans I have. I have the Topshop ones and in both of them I literally like, can't breathe. Um, so that's great, but, so I don't want to put them on until like my room's done. But then even then once that's done I kind of want to do like a workout so I just... I'm just gonna stay in this for a while because it's comfy. So it's like later, I've put my dressing gown on because I got a little bit chilly. Um, and I haven't cleaned my room, which was the top. I've, this isn't gonna be a productive day. Whenever I want to have a productive day, I never actually do, so that's good. But <laughs> I wanna organize my wardrobe. And like, it is pretty organized to be honest. Like, I'm not gonna lie. But it's just not perfect, so I kind of want to do that. But I don't know what I can do to it. So I've given in tidying my room. <laughs> also, I just want to insert a photo here of the dogs. They were so cute. My mum gave them a bath, and they were just freezing, so she had to wrap them up in a blanket. But my mum's just gone out, so Bonnie ran downstairs, but I brought Maisie into my room. And she's still all wrapped up like a little baby. Anyway, I want to do my mum's Mother's Day card now. I've screenshotted some that I like that I want to like try and copy. Hiya love. So it's Friday. I think it's a whole week later since I last vlogged but hey as I said this is just going to be random clips whenever. Um, I was going to film this week but I just didn't end up filming. But I can't remember what I last said about my laptop but I'm just going to like give a little update. And then we got a call back from Apple saying yeah basically everything is ruined so like the screen the keyboard the whole memory stuff like just basically i don't really know the technical stuff my dad just told me really quickly um yeah that's deceased <laughs> so it would cost 1800 pounds to repair it like to get the new parts to repair it so it'd just be cheaper to get a new mac so like we told the insurance people this they got back saying yeah we're not going to pay because you can't prove that it happened in your home which I mean is a bit stupid since the laptop is like meant to be taken around like we've insured it in case this kind of thing happens. So kind of a little bit annoyed about that. Um, but my dad's like written this thing saying I don't even know to be sent off. So we just again is waiting to find out. But if not I'm hopefully going to get a new laptop. Um, I, I actually bought the laptop in the first place. So if I do get a new one, I think my mum and dad will help to pay. But I just feel really bad making them pay for that. So I have kind of almost hopefully got a job. Um, fingers crossed, touch wood. It's all going well, I hope so. But I've got my last training and I'm kind of scared. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I've got the possibility of helping to pay, which I'm very happy about. And then it means I can get a better one than I wanted, like that than I would have got because I'm helping to pay for it as well. But it's the last day of term today. I finished college. 
Yes. Also, I need glasses. We've been to Specsavers today, and I need glasses for when I'm on my computer. So, yes, I have picked out my glasses, and we're gonna be getting them whenever Mum gets a text to say that they're done. So, like a whole month probably. Even knows, but I need to go to dance in a minute for my tap private, which I haven't had in like over two weeks, and I'm kind of scared i feel like i forgot it like i keep doing it but then i forget the same bit each time but then i know it but then i do it at different points and it's like it's a bit crazy really but it's the square is on my face but it's not focusing on me oh love how it focused when i had the food on my oh also you know i've had like the struggle with my lips like being dodgy i think i've diagnosed myself could have become a doctor and I think it's eczema, because I'm going to insert some kind of gross images, so if you don't want to see it, just skip. These are the kind of pictures that come up if you search eczema on the lips, and it's really similar to what mine were like. So, I think it's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's eczema on my lips, and I don't know why we never thought of that, because I do get eczema. Like, I've literally got eczema on my face today, it's really itchy. And I just get eczema, so. Love that for me. <laughs> Anyway, I need to leave um, 25 minutes. Oh, that ain't too Hi. So I'm just about to go to... Oh, I kind of look like I had some muscle when I did that. I don't, but, you know. Um, that was a really horrible angle for my armpit. Okay. I'm just about to go to dance. My room's a mess. Got my tap shoes. I'm just doing my tap private, which... I'm kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm kind of regretting doing so now because I feel like I'm just going to be terrible. I have just got that feeling, you know, just got that feeling in my bones. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, it's tidy my room, Nicole's coming tomorrow, not seen her since Christmas. Um, oh, that was so satisfying. I, forgot, I just came to film a vlog clip and I just completely forgot. Oh, I was going to say that all my vlog clips are me just updating you. It's because my life is so interesting and I can literally film everything I do in my life. I wish I was one of those people who are like... <laughs> which I was one of those people... Which I was one of those people... Who could literally vlog like everywhere I go. But like, I don't think I could vlog at dance because that's a bit weird. I couldn't vlog at college, but I could, but... Weird. Um, Like rehearsals, I'm actually not allowed work i'm not allowed where else i don't really wear i don't really go anywhere else so that's the list at its end i, I can't vlog when i have friends around and stuff but then again like where's my friends i don't see that often so i don't want to vlog all the time around them because i'm just like eh. my tap shoes are kind of getting a bit ruined because we've been starting we've been doing clips i don't know if you can see they're kind of getting ruined around the heel from when i'm doing clips they're fine at the front and also that's happened, they've gone black on the bottom of them. The, this side isn't as bad, I don't think. Woods come off there and stuff. But anyway, let's go. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, it's actually like one o'clock. I was gonna vlog this morning, but I just forgot. But I've had my hair cut. Let me show you, it's just been up. I really like it much more than I have before. I don't know how well it's gonna. I feel like I need to brush it. Hang on. Basically, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I base. Oh my god. I basically asked for what I usually get, but I just said that I want it a bit more dramatic. And she was like, okay, so you're basically weird and you don't want your hair in a straight line. I was like, no, I don't. It's not going to look the best because I've had it up. I had an inch off and then she cut it. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's how I had it. I wanted to have it so that it like kind of went more triangular. I don't know how well it's showing on camera, but basically I just have it shaped. Like, I'll probably cut it a bit myself. Um, it's kind of gone a bit kinky. Kinky, hmm. I have it like shaped from here. So it goes all the way down. When it's properly straightened, I'll show you. But Nicole's coming. I've just cleaned all my room up. And I did wear this, but I really want to change, so I'm just going to try on some different outfits. So I need to close the blinds. So we have this. 
this bodysuit I think is from Boohoo. It's just like a square necked one. And it, this is probably my best fitting bodysuit. It never used to fit me that well. But it fits me quite well now. And I just have these mum jeans. Um, the one thing I hate about mum jeans is they give you no bum. Like, look at that. Where is the bum? <laughs> um, I do like this. I need to see my full length mirror. Hang on. So, yeah, I think I'm going to wear this. Um, I like it. My hair looks so much shorter, but I really like it. I didn't want to go too short. Um, but my hair was just getting kind of long. It's not actually this short, it's... Okay, cute. I really want to borrow one of my mum's rings, but I think she might kill me. Anyway, I need to start getting ready. So, because it's my sister's birthday party, she's got a load of friends coming. Um, so because all of her friends are coming, I've got Nicole coming. Because, you know, can't be a loner. We're just, like, having dominoes. I might vlog, like, a few things, but maybe not, like, directly, Nicole. The one thing I don't like about this is this. Like, I'm sorry, but that is actually ugly. That's what I'm trying to get rid of, like, working out and stuff at the moment. I feel like in summer I might dye my hair. Like, just get some highlights in it. It looks so blonde because of the light coming in. My hair kind of looks like that in the summer. But this side is more what it is. But, yeah, it's really cute. I'm really liking it. But I need to do some makeup. I've got some snacks. I've got some sweet popcorn. I only like sweet popcorn, really. Like, I don't really like salted popcorn. I like toffee. I've got some old pizzas. I've got some jelly tots, but I already started on them. So, yeah. I'm really excited. Don't know why. We're getting dominoes, and that's kind of what I'm excited about. So pretty. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yeah. I actually wanted to say something. I feel like I'm going to chat a little bit whilst I get ready. Um... I do want to do my hair, but it's just going to get in the way. I really want a necklace on. I, I want to get a new silver necklace. Um, but I have no money because there's loads I need to get. Because my Mac broke and I need to get a car. Driving lessons. Insurance. Like, there's so much. Birthday presents. I need to get my sister's birthday present. It's next week and I have zero. Actually, I think I have 17p in my bank account. Should we have a look? Oh, yeah. I have 17p available. Which I mean isn't good. Let's switch on my straighteners. If any of you are wondering, my straighteners are flipping old. They're babyless ones. And they were, I think, £16. A bit gross on the edges. Especially here. You can't really see. But basically, where I heat up my eyelash curlers, it's kind of wearing away on the plates, but... I literally could not care less. I've had them for years. I bought them last minute, £16, because I was like, hey, I need some straighteners, because mine broke and I was using my mum's. So, what day is it? Tuesday 9th of April. Today's actually day I'm going to Shawn Mendes, but this is just going to be my normal, that weird vlog. I don't even know what that vlog is now or how long it is, but hey. I wake 20 minutes, <clears throat> but I woke up and I could hear, like, mum and dad talking about going out. So I went downstairs and then my mum was like, your glasses have come in. And I was like, oh. And then I was like, can we go get them today? And she was like, well, dad's going now. And I was like, oh. So I literally... <laughs> so gross so i got up i just put on these clothes which i wore yesterday i've just got a leggings and a jumper and a bralette on like really simple i brushed my hair luckily i straightened it yesterday i mean it's not perfect but hey i literally haven't touched my face so eyebrows are probably smudged i sprayed and then i had an apple whilst i was in the car i'm actually kind of starving now and i've just got some chewing gum because i didn't have time to brush my teeth and they're going to be like close up to my face so we're just gonna have to like have loads of chewing gum but you know so I've got to try them on. Hopefully they fit. And then I can take them home today. I, like, I wasn't excited for glasses. I kind of am now. <laughs> I literally don't suit glasses at all. They're like, the lady at Specsavers, she, she was a little weird. I'm not going to lie. And like, she, 
she wasn't the person I would typically go to to ask for advice on what glasses would look good, you know? She was one of those people, but my mum asked her for advice. She was like, well, you kind of have an oval shaped face, so you would suit any glasses. And I was like, <laughs> you really haven't seen glasses on me. But by then I'd already picked out a style that I liked. Like I'd found a style that I found looked quite nice, um, which you will see. Um, and hopefully they will fit today and they're good. Um, it's all good. Wait, I don't know when the last time was that I vlogged. I've just talked for three minutes, but yeah. I can't wait to get a car and literally just be driving around and talking. I want to Google, like, how to vlog in a car. I feel like you get, like, a tripod or something that you attach. I feel like that would be cool. I was looking at cars again, and, um, I've now... <laughs> I keep changing my mind as to what car I want. Like, originally, I wanted a Fiat 500, realized they're probably slightly out of my price range like i wouldn't be getting a new one i'd be getting like my the ones that i'm looking at are like probably around like 2006 to 2011 like that's kind of the range of cars um so if you get 500s i'd have to get the lower like the older one but then i was there, like so i was looking at that and i was like oh i want a mini and then i was like oh i want a corsa the only reason I don't want a Corsa is because literally you go to college and the car park is just Corsas. Like, everyone has a Corsa. But they are really cute and they're, like, good first cars. Okay, so we're going to ignore the lighting right now. Um, but I've got my glasses. I'm very excited. I also just had a Greg sausage roll. This one is so pretty. These were my favourites when I tried them on before. Um, and I mean, the case is my favourite too. This one's kind of ugly, but you know. Um, ignore the mess I am. I look better in glasses with makeup on. I actually haven't seen what I look like with glasses with no makeup, so this is going to be a first. So they're kind of like a bluey kind of colour, like a bluey grey. And then the back looks like this. Oh, I look so weird with glasses. It also feels really weird, like looking. Like, it's fine looking at the camera. Like, looking at the camera, it helps. But, like, if I'm looking at my room, it makes me feel a bit dizzy. With makeup on, I'll look a bit better. Um, they're kind of a bluey purple, actually. They are more blue in person. Especially the back. As you can see, they've got sparkles on. Oh, I look so weird with glasses on. I never know how high up to wear them either. Okay, so this update is going to be much later for you guys. Although, I mean, it has probably probably been... What did I even just say? It's probably been a couple of weeks since I last did an update on the laptop situation. But I said I would in this video. Um, so I need to somehow find the footage there. So, I can't remember what I last said to you, but basically... I think the last thing I said was insurance are refusing to pay. So after that, my dad wrote this like really long email. Um, basically, they didn't want to pay because they couldn't prove that it happened in our house, which I mean is kind of a bit ridiculous. So I'm not really sure what my dad said in his email, um, but then they rang him back and they were like, um, like my dad was saying something like, he was actually away that weekend so he didn't give the full details originally because he didn't know them because he'd been away and they were like well can you prove this and my dad was like yep here's the receipts of the hotel and the transport and everything so he could prove it that way and then he said that it wasn't my fault because it's my bottle is one that you press a button and the lid opens so what must have happened is i must have put it down in my bedroom or something and then it like lent against something causing the lid to open which is why it leaked um, and they were like well can you prove this with the bottle and my dad was like yep this is the bottle blah 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 and then it took like another week and um, we still like didn't have an answer I think they rang up or something and they were like we're gonna need a few more days we're gonna pass on the information and then yesterday was it? no it was today um, so today is Thursday the uh, Thursday the 18th of April my dad actually got a call from the insurance company and they were basically like yep we'll pay um, I think they said they'd pay basically the equivalent to like the most basic basically to the equivalent of what my laptop is so my laptop was the MacBook Pro 13 inch and it was early 2015 
obviously Apple don't do them anymore so I think the equivalent price was just for like the most basic MacBook Pro 13 inch lower storage because that's what it was so they've given that money um, which is amazing like I'm so happy because it means like spending less um, and then my mum and dad have just told me that they will put 150 I think towards it um, so I think that means I'm paying uh, I'm paying around 200 pounds I think a little bit over I'm not like I'm not too positive so the one that I'm getting um, I think I don't even know whether I don't know whether you'll see this video before I want to do an unboxing I don't know what's going to be first but anyway I have got an unboxing so I'll leave a link maybe if I've not filmed I don't know if that's up yet um, so the MacBook that I'm getting is the MacBook Pro 13 inch with touch bar excited in space gray i literally debated for so long about whether to get space gray or silver and i do love the silver but i just feel like getting the space gray will make it just feel more i don't know it's just new isn't it i've never had space gray i've never had anything space gray like honestly so i'm just super excited now i've just had so much to do like i've literally been waiting for so long it's been a month a month tomorrow was when the bottle leaked on my laptop so and so on Sunday it will have been a whole month since it fully ruined when you're watching this it will have been like ages oh my god that's ridiculous all videos will be back I've literally filmed so much at least it feels like loads I think it's just I've been vlogging quite a lot so there'll be loads of videos I will be able to edit my photos I'll be able to do my college work I'm literally just so excited like I can't tell you how excited I am I've been waiting so long and I've just been watching MacBook unboxing videos and I just can't wait to do it anyway this is gonna be the end of this video vlog thing I don't really know what it is I can't even remember what I filmed and I can't even look at the footage because that was removed onto my hard drive before all of my SD cards had to be formatted but it's fine it's fine Basically, I've just had so many problems with tech recently. I'm just hoping my new laptop is going to be good and not, like, ruin everything. So, yes, I'm very, very excited. Just thought I'd give you that update, and this is the end of the vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it, and links to things are down below. I don't even know what. But, yes, thank you. I love you all. Bye!